Number 13. A player extends her lower leg in a kicking motion by exerting a force with the muscle above the knee in the front of the leg, also known as the quadriceps. She produces an angular acceleration of 30 radians per second squared, and her lower leg has a moment of inertia of 0 0.750 kilogram meter squared. What is the force exerted by the muscle? If it's effective, perpendicular lever arm is 1.9 centimeters. All right, so here's a little picture. We have the upper leg here. This is the lower leg. Here's the quadriceps muscle, right? It's on the anterior portion of your thigh, or I could say of the femur. And then it's going to insert into the, into the tibia. And what we have here is we have now a system, right? That when this quadriceps muscle contracts, it applies a force on the lower leg in this direction, right? It's going to apply it, they told us, in a perpendicular direction. All right, perpendicular to the uh, lever arm, all right? So this is the force. Now, this is what they're asking us to solve for, okay? Keep that in mind. We got to solve for the force. It tells us also that the effective perpendicular uh, lever arm here is going to be zero, uh, well, 1.9 centimeters. I converted it to meters already, so 0 0.019 meters. And that perpendicular lever arm is the distance from the axis of rotation, known as the knee, all right, and to where the force is being applied. Okay, so that should now be ringing, you know, alarm bells in your head. You're saying, well, I got to find a force at a distance to a to the axis of rotation. They told me the perpendicular lever arm. Oh my goodness, this sounds a lot like the prior chapter with torque. Yes, torque. So torque is in the problem. I was going to say torque is in the house, but then I realized that it probably wouldn't be very funny, but I said it anyway. So, I yeah. So torque is going to be equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between that force vector and the axis of rotation. All right. So basically these two variables now I know is a torque. Then they also tell me that, and by the way, we're being asked to solve for the force. They also tell me the angular acceleration of the lower leg is going to have a value of 30 radians per second squared. And they also tell us the moment of inertia of the lower leg. So now you're saying, well, I have a torque, angular acceleration, moment of inertia, what formula? Here it is on the right-hand side. That relates those variables. So the sum of the torque is going to equal the moment of inertia multiplied by the angular acceleration. There's only one torque in the problem, so this should be fairly straightforward. We can expand then on the torque, right? Or I could just say this is the torque produced by the quadriceps muscle. That should equal then IA or I alpha. Expanding on the torque, it's then the force that the quadriceps muscle produces multiplied then by the perpendicular lever arm is going to be equal to I alpha. Solving for the force the quadriceps muscle is exerting, it would be I alpha all over perpendicular lever arm, and here you go. All right, voila. So, FQ is going to be equal to the moment of inertia, so that's 0 0.750 multiplied by the angular acceleration of 30.00, divided by then the perpendicular lever arm of 0 0.0190 meters. So here we go. Let's throw it into the calculator. So 0 0.75 times 30 divided by 0 0.019. And we get a value in how many sig figs. It looks like we should have three sig figs here. So this should be about 1,180. And that will be in terms of Newtons. Okay, you can convert that into scientific notation if you like. That should be fine at this point. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. All right, please help us grow. Uh, subscribe, that would help. Uh, hit the like button, that also helps. Tell your classmates, that helps. Tell your friends, that helps. Tell everybody, that helps. Take care.